Hello everybody, welcome to the details with Rosalia Pereira. Today we will explore the French country style, but first let's go back in time and learn about its beginning and history. French country homes were constructed by French aristocrats in provincial areas outside Paris, inspired by the opulence of Versailles. The architecture and furnishing designs were adapted from French representations popular in the 17th and 18th century courts of kings Louis XIII, 14th, 15th, and 16th. That's how French country style came to be. What is French country style? French country style is a mix of furniture styles that is comfortable, elegant, and casual. It is also considered an eclectic style to an extent because it mixes furniture styles such as Baroque, Rococo, and Empire, to name a few. If you would like to learn more about eclecticism, please watch my video on eclectic style. French country style is a broad term. Country or rural France can be associated with the province region and can also be referred as to the provincial style. With time, the elaborate French provincial style began to be referred to as the French country style and started to morph into a more casual and rustic comfortable style. French country style has the elegance and sophistication of the old world without being excessive. Country style homes range from casual farmhouses to sophisticated manors and chateaux. What is the difference between French provincial and French country style? Even though the French country style was referred to as the provincial or rural style in the 1600s and the term can sometimes be interlaced between the two, there is a small difference. The provincial style is more formal in architecture and furnishings than the French country style which can be more rustic and casual in architecture as well as in furnitures. Elements of French country style Architecture The architecture of many French country style homes is recognized by stone, brick, or stucco exteriors. Large windows with or without shutters, wood floors, stone fireplaces, exposed walls, and exposed beams. Exposed stone walls and distressed walls speak to the rustic elements of this style.
Furniture Louis XV furniture features the cabriole leg or curved leg, which is the most recognizable feature of French style furniture and the bump or curved outward front on chest of drawers. Distressed painted furniture, antiques, and vintage pieces are also common to this style. Color palette. The color palette of French country design reflects the colors of nature. Pastel blues, light pinks, light yellows, ochres, olive greens, and lavender combined with white and gold. Even though the style is associated with light colors, darker versions also work. Adding hints of gold throughout the space in your furniture, mirrors, or other accents brings out the sophistication of this style. Combining metals like silver, gold, and copper is a great way to have variety. Fabrics. 12. A pattern textile that appeared in France in the 18th century is a great choice as are silks, linens, velvets, and brocades. White, natural, or colored canvas fabric is also a great less expensive option. Lighting, crystal or wood chandeliers, pendant lights, sconces, floor lamps, and table lamps are good choices for lighting. Outdoor spaces Outdoor living areas are perfect for casual fresco dining and are most favored by the French country style. Climbing vines, gravel patios, flowers, olive trees, rosemary, wood boxes, and lavender are favorite choices for garden plants. The sophisticated and comfortable blend of French country design is what makes this style so popular today. When possible, please remember to get quality over quantity. I hope you enjoyed this walk through the history of French country style. Please remember to subscribe and share. Until next time, thank you for watching.